Been practicing my knuckleball. We should pop the red record on the way back. You do not know what's a knuckleball. What on earth is a knuckleball? So it's uh, a special sort of free kick, right, where you hit the ball a certain way and it moves in the air. He's been trying to do it for years and he's never been close. Wow. This I need to see. Oh. All right, Lee. Oh, you hey, stay on, away from us, do you hear me? Whoa, 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 calm. Get out. Calm. Get out. OK. OK. Ooh. All right. It's all right. It's not going to hurt you, OK? I won't let him near you ever again. Since we last talked, we've put in place fundamental changes in regard to our safeguarding policy. We've had assemblies about bullying and you might have heard about the new anti-bullying app. OK, I'm really sorry. I just need two things from this meeting. I need you to tell me that Mason's going to be expelled and I need your reassurance that my son's going to be safe in school. Mrs Connor, I assure you that's what I want too. Is he going to be expelled or not? Well, we are in the process of gathering evidence from pupils so and no, staff. Gathering evidence? What, what does that mean? Well, we need to... I mean, you know, he got Dylan to cop for it, so... Why would anybody else speak up against it? We are aware that pupils might feel intimidated. Intimidated? Is... I'm sorry, I've not been able to let Liam out of my sight because Mason has had him so scared that he has been researching ways of killing himself. He's outside now because I can't leave him on his own. Me and Gary are with him 24-7. We're sleeping on his bedroom floor at night. I understand, Mrs Connor, and we want to prioritise Liam feeling safe again at school. No, I'm sorry, there's no chance that he's coming back here, not while Mason's still there. Perhaps I should go through the details of the safeguarding policy. Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Promise you won't tell. Promise? I saw Mason today at school. Did he say anything to you? No. He's too busy picking on some other kid. You need to tell someone. As if. Look, it's not my problem anymore. He's got a knife. Yeah, but what's he going to do if he finds out I've grassed him up again? He'll come for me. So you're not worried about what he's going to do to this other kid? Of course I am. But he's going to have to deal with it himself. Just like I had to. Divide, not multiply, you numpty. <sighs> Liam, leaving a fresh pair of PJs outside your door for you. Just make sure you put your dirty ones in the basket. Ah, is that what you're supposed to do? I had no idea. <laughs> there. Is that right? Hmm. Maybe you were supposed to multiply after all. Yeah, let me have a look. So I'd like you and Liam were having a laugh before. Yeah. Does he seem all right to you? Well, does he? I promised him that I wouldn't tell you. Well, come on, mate, spit it out. Yeah, come on, Jay, you can tell us. Mason wasn't just, you know, bullying Liam. He, he threatened him with a knife. 